Today we are going apple picking. So we're looking for the juicy ones to make an apple pie. Time to find some pumpkins. This is our pumpkin tool. So small. No, it's not rotten. It was already cut. Oh, perfect. Yep, drop it. Where? Here, right in front, below. Oh. You. Yeah? Oh, perfect. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. <gasps> wow. Hey guys, so we just came back from apple picking and it was a really fun experience and now I have quite some fruit to sort through and from those that's when I'll be making our delicious Dutch apple pie. One thing I wanted to mention though before I start is that I was super excited that they had a pumpkin patch. The American in me is absolutely thrilled because around this time of the year, uh, around the holidays, we make a lot of pumpkin based dishes and desserts. So pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread, pumpkin mousse, savory dishes, you name it, it's probably out there. So I'm happy to have come across all these pumpkins, but let me stop talking, start counting some of these fruits and then we can start baking. Wow, look at this setup of fruit. What we have here are 13 apples, six pears, and three pumpkins. We got quite a few more for our parents-in-law, but that's not seen here. And this was such a fun experience. I've never gone apple picking yet alone in the Netherlands, and I highly recommend it. Again, I was happy that they had a pumpkin patch as well. And 
the total came out to be in weight it came out to be six kilos so i believe that's 13 pounds and that was for about 20 euros and yeah it's really nice to pick your own fruit see where it comes from and apparently the public comes first to the orchard and i think everything else gets sent to the stores and when we came it was the last day of apple picking at this particular orchard one thing i wanted to mention was that when we first got to the orchard my partner headed straight to the uh, pear section and what i've noticed living in the netherlands is that pear is eaten as a dessert of course not for everyone but mainly it's um, steamed uh, for quite a few hours and this pear in particular I believe is used it's almost rock solid so I wouldn't bite into this because it's really hard but um, I believe my partner is going to steam these for a few hours and all the juice will come out all the natural sugars you sprinkle some cinnamon maybe you can add some vanilla beans to it and it'll be just really good as a dessert uh, very healthy and I think the name for this is Stofen Pier. Please correct me if I'm wrong any of my Dutch audience Stofen Pier, and it's really good today We're going to be making a Dutch apple pie as you guessed it and Maybe some of you are wondering why aren't you making an apple pie since <laughs> I am American uh, I do want to say that if you had two pies in front of me and one was American and one was Dutch, 10 out of 10, I would choose the Dutch apple pie. Don't come for me. <laughs> for any of my fellow Americans in the audience, it's just something about the Dutch apple pie I prefer the taste of. It's, it. I, I think most of it has to do with the texture. So it's double crusted. There's a layer on top and on bottom. And usually it has the lattice uh, uh, things on top and maybe raisins in it and it's just so so good anyways i will see you guys in the kitchen This is the final product. The moment has come and the pie is finally done. And it's right out of the oven, so it's really hot. And it smells amazing cinnamon, warm apples, sugar, a perfect crust and I really can't wait any longer and I'm just gonna eat it <laughs> but um, apple pie always tastes best when you make it homemade mmm snacko It's like a, the filling is a bit tart, but that matches very well with the crust on the top and the bottom because it's pretty sweet. So it balances out the flavor. And since it's just out of the oven, it's really warm. The crust is flaky and yeah, I think it's pretty good. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's adventure to the apple orchard and making homemade Dutch apple pie. Let me know in the comments below if you prefer American apple pie or Dutch apple pie. 
Otherwise, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!